Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com, and today I'm testing and reviewing the Granite Gear Lutzen 55. This is an internal frame backpack. Now this is the large size. It's a 55 liter pack, 3,356 cubic inch, and this thing is flipping awesome. So I'll go over all the features and benefits for using a pack like this. All right, so right out of the gate, you can see the size, okay? You have multiple straps that go across here for compression. Get those out of the way. You have a massive stretchy pocket up front right here. Okay, so this is great for keeping an extra layer or if you have some wet clothing uh, that you want to dry really fast or if you got like, you know, wet socks or whatever, throw them up here. It's really gonna help those items dry out faster. Great pocket right here. It's super huge, super stretchy. You do have twin ice axe loops on the bottom here. You also have Velcro straps here on the side to really secure your ice axes or your trekking poles. So you have two of those. On the side here, you have twin stretchy pockets. Now these are great, and I'll tell you why. Granite Gear, I, I wanna say, is the first one to do this. They, I might be wrong, but Granite Gear does this on their packs, and I wish other companies would do that. Because you have this compression strap that goes right across the, uh, the pocket here. When this thing is compressed, this pocket's useless. You can't get your hand in there anymore. So what Granite Gear did was <clears throat> they made these little cutouts. So what you do, is to get your little compression strap and go through the pocket and then you can still secure it you can still cinch everything down and you don't lose that pocket so that's awesome design great feature you have two of those one on each side you have twin side compression straps as well and you have your top lid here so the top lid has two zippers first zipper right here pretty small this is great for like uh, you know some granola bars or to toss your keys in zip that closed you have some extra lash points up on top here so if you have uh, like a solar panel you want to put up there while you're hiking great another pocket on the inside here of the lid and this one goes all the way from the, the back section here to a hole inside so this is the huge huge pocket so this is a full lid this is just a little bit of it so you have two different pockets on the lid itself the lid is completely removable now this is the large, extra large size. I have a 21 inch torso, I'm six foot, about 165 pounds. So I got the large, extra large because the torso size for this one in the 55 liter is 18 inches to 22 inches. I'm 21 inches on my torso. So that's the reason why I chose this size. But you can remove this. So this thing pops off. So this is a great pack for several reasons. Number one, it's made by Granite Gear they kick ass. They make great products and they have been for a really long time. Uh, number two, this is a roll top. So not only do you actually have a lid that you can put on top, you can take that off, leave that completely at home and just use this as a roll top. So you have full access to the entire pack on the inside here. Right now I just have a pillow on the inside just to kind of expand the pack out. But if you can see this on the inside, I'll get a little closer. You have a hanging loop right here, a hanging hook. This is plastic. So that's really gonna help out hang your uh, bladder. And you have a nice little dedicated sleeve in here for your, your, your water bladder. So what's great about having a roll top closure is that you have full access to everything inside your pack in one big opening. So when you're done, you kinda just roll this up, let the air out a little bit, roll this nice and tight. put the buckles together like that and then you have this other one right here and that's what secures this around here so that's nice and secure through here is your hydration port so right here on the top lid that's where your hydration port is so that's your hose can come out either side of here some people like it on the left shoulder I like it on the right shoulder and you have this really great grab handle so that's really helping to uh, you know, pick the pack up and get it up over your shoulders when you're putting it on. Nice little elastics around the lid. Now the way Granite Gear has designed their refit system, so basically what you do is I'm going to take this lid and just kind of move it out of the out of the way, just so you can kind of see what's going on back here. So you have load levelers, you have extra little clips here on the shoulder straps, which are all ventilated and very well padded. The sternum strap is adjustable. But there is no whistle, no emergency whistle on the sternum strap buckles, which I don't know why a lot of companies are doing away with that. I don't really get it, but I guess it's not necessary, but it's always good to have. So the refit system, what you do is you unbuckle this, 
The inside here, you can actually see the hard plastic uh, refit AC system. This is the hard plastic shell. So this is the hard plastic frame, and that's what's really going to hold it, hold its form against your back to make it really, really comfortable and kind of adhere to the curve of your back. And you can see along the, the padded side here, you can see how that just curves. So this foam right here is super nice. So the way the refit system works for the, for the, the, weight, the hip belt here is you can kind of pull this out. So you can, it's Velcroed in. So once you get the Velcro released, you can kind of just pull out the shoulder or the, the waist belt and then so while this is completely out, there's your refit system. You can adjust this and it has all your measurements right here on the hip belt. So if you start out hiking, you're at 36 inch waist. By the time you get to your, you know, from Mexico to Canada, now you're a 32 inch waist. You lost all that weight. So you can actually adjust this stuff on the fly Right now, I'm about a 33 inch waist, so I'm gonna move it in between 32 and 34. And just tackle all that back together. And then I'm just gonna feed this right back through the body here. And as I said, it's Velcroed in place, so once you get it in there, it's There you go. Now that's set up and ready to go. You do have twin pockets on the hip belt and the hip belts are really, really nice and very well padded. And they have this soft lining on the inside. So this is great if you have a pair of sunglasses or you know your cell phone, you don't want it to get scratched up. This is a great place to keep it right there. A lot of people bring their cell phones backpacking because you know a lot of cell phones nowadays have excellent cameras. So that's probably the best way to do it. This way you're not lugging around a DSLR or anything like that. Not only does Granite Gear make excellent packs, but they also warranty their products for life. So when you're buying a quality backpack, you're only going to buy it once. You know, you're not going to buy a pack that's going to, you know, last a couple seasons and then, you know, you got to throw it away or donate it or whatever. These are the kind of packs that just last a lifetime and they're worth every single penny. So spend the money, do it right and get a quality backpack. For number one, especially something like this that has complete adjustability on the fly. So you could adjust it as you're hiking. Like this is a great through hiking pack. It's a great pack for multi-day. It's also a great pack for one night because it's super comfortable. This thing weighs in at 3.1 pounds for the 55 liter and the large extra large size. So it also has a load bearing of about 40 pounds. So you don't want to overload this pack. You want to keep it about 40 pounds or less. Usually when I'm in the backcountry, my backpack for multi-day use is, you know, 25 to 30 pounds. So that gives me a little extra capacity to store in some extra gear if I need to if I'm on a super long hike. So next year I am taking a long hike. I am going on the John Muir Trail. It's 222 miles. This is the pack that I'm probably going to be using unless I find something better. But I don't think I'm going to. The way this thing sets up and the adjustability is top notch. Not to mention, you know, with the top lid that's removable, the adjustability alone, the versatility of using a pack like this. I mean, you have pockets galore side pockets, you have hydration compatible, you have place for ice axes and place to store your uh, your trekking poles. The lid's removable and has two pockets. As I said, you could take the lid completely off and just shed that weight and leave it at home. You don't necessarily need it. So that's really cool all in itself. You know me, I'm a big fan of branding. This thing has Granite Gear written all over it. Big Granite Gear logo right there on the sides and everything. So. You know, this pack is absolutely awesome. There's your refit system, and you can kind of see the way the hip belt is designed with these little circles right here. There's a little cutout, so that saves weight right there, but also the hip belt is extremely well padded, so it's gonna really increase the comfort around the iliac crest. The shoulder pads are very well padded, and they also breathe really well. And there's your adjustable torso right here, so you can move that up and down when you have this on. I'll just put it on just so you can see what I mean. So while the pack's on, Really, really comfortable. On the shoulder straps here, they have thumb holes. And these little thumb loops, I wish more companies did this because you pull on these and these things just make your life so much easier when you're setting your backpack up. Especially when you do your load levelers on the top, make these all nice and snug. But when you see this thing, how it fits around my back, it's nice and snug against the back, but I have plenty of air space. 
So it's going to keep my back comfortable. It's also going to keep it, you know, from being soaking wet as I hike. And here's my adjustable torso. So I can move this up and down depending if I want it a little higher or if I want to keep it a little bit lower. There's no elasticity to it. And then you have your, your twin pockets for the hip belt. The left pocket's slightly different. You can kind of see through it. That zip's closed. The right pocket, this would be more for like your cell phone because this one has the soft lining on the inside. This pocket is called barrier. And what barrier means is that basically what they did is Granite Gear used a special fabric to keep water out. These pockets aren't waterproof, but they're extremely water repellent. So if you put your cell phone in here and you get caught out in the rain, you're going to be fine. If you submerge, no, you're screwed. They also have these really great zipper pulls. And I'll get the pack off just so you can see them. You know me, I'm a huge fan of branding. And they put granite gear right on the zipper pull. And they also took it a next notch up. They also put it on the buckle. Like, who does that? These guys are awesome. They really think about stuff. And they're very proud of the products that they bring to market. So all in all, the Granite Gear Lutzen 55, this is a great pack. I haven't used this on a multi-night trip yet. Um, I did use it as a one night, and that's why it's completely still clean. But I am going to do a couple of night backpacking trip here, uh, probably in, the, in a month or so. And I'll do a follow-up review on the pack as I'm actually using it going through some pretty intensive mileage. All in all, the adjustability and the fabrics and everything else that's used in a pack like this, not only that, but the quality that's built in here is second to none. I mean, Granite Gear's been around for a really long time and, you know, they definitely make some of the best packs on the market hands down. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Lutzen 55 internal frame multi-day pack from Granite Gear. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some really, really great products, and they've been around for a long time, so definitely worth a look at. If you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up there. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars to my YouTube channel. That's going to help me produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this pack. Whether you have one or if you have any comments, leave them down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the like button right down here. Make sure you click on that. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trail of Mountain's YouTube channel. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, trailofmountain.com. In the lower right-hand corner, you're going to see a little pop-up. Put in your email address, then click submit. When you do that, you're going to get exclusive access to my website, which has a lot of information that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best way to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trail of Mountain. On a lighter note, we're also doing a through hike of the John Muir Trail 2017, and we're going to go from Yosemite to Mount Whitney. It's 222 miles through the High Sierra. So on average, this trail takes about 20 to 25 days to complete. We're doing it in 14, which means 16 mile days. Now, 16 mile days are not easy, especially through the High Sierra at elevation. This trail is rated by Backpacker Magazine as the most beautiful trail in the world. So. We decided to raise money for charity along our hike. Now, we're funding our hike completely all on our own, but we're raising money for a great cause called Big City Mountaineers. Here's their picture right up here. This is a link that takes you right to a website where you can make a donation, a tax-deductible donation, to the, uh, to the cause. We're raising $10,000 for Big City Mountaineers. Now, what Big City Mountaineers does is they take inner-city youth from, you know, troubled homes, no mom and dad, some of them. They need positivity. They need, like, a, a positive atmosphere to really thrive and they just don't have it. So not only that, but they never get out into the wilderness. So what Big City Mountaineers does is they take these kids completely out of their element, takes them out into the backcountry for a week at a time and teaches them, you know, team building skills, positivity, gives them a really, really great role model and a mentor to help steer them back on the right path. Not only that, but they really care about these kids. And, you know, wilderness does a lot of good for everybody. You know, we all get caught up in the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life and you know, when you can get out into nature and just kind of recharge and re re refresh your whole soul, um, and you come back to work, you come back to your day-to-day -day life, and you're able to hit it, hit it hard in a positive note, that's the best way to do it. You know, that's how I stay connected and stay grounded. As I said, click on that picture right up here. Go to the website. Make a tax-deductible donation. Donations start at $10. I mean, everybody's got 10 bucks. I set a goal for $10,000 to raise for this great cause, and 
100% of the proceeds goes to Big City Mountaineers. We're not keeping a penny of it. So we're funding the trail all on our own. So thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. I really appreciate you checking out my review of the Lutzen 55 from Granite Gear. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.